Today I am presenting a case of a patient aged 42 years who presented with occasional pervaginal spotting and was advised to get transvaginal ultrasound done. During the scan we noticed a hyperechoic mass lesion seen in the endometrial cavity measuring approximately 30 into 12 mm in its maximum diameter. This mass appears to be avascular thus suggesting more likely endometrial polyp. Endometrial hyperplasia should also be considered in this condition. Right ovarian cyst is seen measuring 27 into 22 mm which is thin wall containing an internal septum measuring approximately 8 into 3 millimeters. This is avascular and no internal echoes are seen in this mass. Left adenexa shows a thick walled cyst measuring approximately 17 ml in volume. This shows an intramural mass measuring approximately 12 into 8 mm. On Doppler study we can see vascularity in this intramural mass. Vascularity in the mural nodule increases the suspicion of malignancy. Less likely possibilities include complex dermoid or endometrioma with atypical features. Endometrial evaluation can be done through hysteroscopy and endometrial biopsy to confirm the diagnosis and rule out malignancy. Optionally, a saline infusion sonography for improved lesion delineation. Ovarian workup can be done through pelvic MRI or tumor markers like CA125, AG4 and CEA for further evaluation. Serial ultrasound for monitoring should be advised. General investigation like CBC, coagulation profile and pap smear should be conducted. Refer to gynecologist or gynecological oncologist for further management. Laparoscopic evaluation or surgical excision may be indicated if lesion is concerning or symptomatic. Please remember to subscribe, like and share the channel.